Ooh, hello, magic. Georgetown Grand Cayman. So this is an island that has a protected coral reef around it. So we actually lay anchor and they have tender boats as you can see at the Magic into the island. That's mind boggling? Well you bump a, you bump a little boat up against a big boat and then you yeah. have to hold there. Yeah. Even with the current and, and the waves you have to hold there yeah. while you load. Which is kind of cool, and it's, it's just kind of a really mind-boggling kind of thing. Yeah, it's cool. Is that pretty cool? We're probably not going to go much further towards land. We're probably going to stay somewhere around here. But yes, I am. I have fingers crossed that there will be horn duels later today between between the two ships. Ham, we but. brought the kids to Cabanas to give them something to eat before we go to Palo Brunch and we're both like so hungry because we've been specifically waiting and not eating because we know that there's so much food at Palo. Um, but we're like looking around like, I'm hungry. There's a lot of food at Cabanas. <laughs> there's so much food. Lucas, are you excited about that omelet? That looks really good, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, definitely want you to eat that omelet, buddy, because... We're so excited for Paolo. Um, we're doing Paolo right. today and Remy tomorrow, and I know that we're both really, really, really excited. I know, I'm really excited. No, no, I'm totally not excited about it at all. Um, no, no. He's lying. I agree, Lucas. I think he's like, oh, hello. No, I'm Look, a very good It's liar. the first offspring. Hi. <laughs> I just came outside of Cabanas. I wanted to come around over here and just get a better view a little bit closer of the magic. She's so pretty. What are you doing, buddy? Being silly. Yeah, okay. I'm being silly too. You are. I'm, I'm walking fast. Okay. Yep. Are you excited to go to the kids' club more or less? Yes. Because there's no one in the bathroom and I happen to notice this, please, 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 if we're ever hanging out and we're friends, can you please tell me when I have mascara all over my face? Like, hook a friend up and tell my husband never told me. Like, what in the heck? <laughs> I think it wants to wake up for me. So I start Mickey is sleeping. Apparently. This turned on as we went by. <laughs> oh, I love Fantasia. That was cute. That's cool, it changed for a different scene, yeah. My man is so used to me taking all kinds of media and just trying to get out of the way. I'm like, you know, I can take stuff with you in it. I do like seeing you in the videos too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the full look. Like Tommy Tuckman, right? <laughs> just, it's, it's, uh... Like that. That, 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 yeah, it was perfect. <laughs> there, we'll just it a little bit. <laughs> Originally, it looked more like this, and I was very okay with that. I'll leave it in the clip so they can see. We came back, and we have the Pirate Knight gear. I think we actually we actually have an extra, because there's only three kiddos over here. So, huh, I'm just gonna tuck those away. But yes, we have we have our Pirate Knight gear. That's right. Keep going. That is Pepe's door. I am not the shrimp. I'm the king prawn, but you gotta have like the fist action that you did. Genie of the lamp. Right here, direct from the lamp. Right here for your very much wish for the lamp. Thank you. Anyway, he doesn't know where we're going. And hopefully he's not listening. I got my 
my ear too. <laughs> Do you know what Pirate League is? <laughs> he doesn't know. Watch out in front of you. He doesn't know what it is, but we are on our way to Pirate League. And I think it'll be fun. I hope it'll be fun. But it's perfect for Pirate Night. We're gonna go down this way, actually. We haven't gone down this side yet. Oh, but hold on, stop. Isn't it pretty? <gasps> look. Oh, they look beautiful. Yes, yeah. that must have been the wedding that was set up earlier today. All right, come on, guys. Or, guy. <laughs> oh. All right, going down here. Whoa, look at that kid's outfit, Lucas. Oh. Is that epic? Can go in here? Let's see. Yes, we are. Can you open that door? Open the lid, give a throw. Now, the only rule is you can't get any doubles, because doubles are cursed, and then you have to walk the plank. But I have faith in you. <laughs> Okay, yeah, what did she say to do? And then you shake it high. Wait, what did she say? Shake it high. It's not high, higher. Way high. <laughs> shake it low. Oh my goodness. She said to hold on to the lid. Oh, what is it? What is it? We're in a one. Five. That makes five. How does that make five? What? Five. No. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I get it. You 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 use your brain. No, parrot swing is our brains. <laughs> so to me, that's a 41 or maybe it's a 14, I don't know. Which one do you think? 41 or 14? 41. 41, okay. 41 means that your pirate name is going to be Robert Blash Striker. Ooh, I like that name. <laughs> a good name. And I have one pussy for you, pirate Robert. I need you to pick you one of these faces. Would you like to be the zombie you pirate to today? To Captain oh, Jack, Sheep Shape, or maybe Blackbeard? Captain Jack. Here. All right, so you get to choose. Would you like to wear the red side or the black side? It's reversible. Mm. Oh. Red side. Really? I don't know. That black side is pretty cool. Right, Actually, red. You want okay. the red? Okay. Put it on. Let's see. Other arm. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You're the unstoppable pirate because it has un you have your unstoppable shirt on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does that feel good, buddy? Yeah. All right. Oh, I properly introduce myself. My name's Mariah Scary, and I'm going to make you a very scary pirate. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear her? What is her name then? What did you hear? Mariah Scary Pirate. Uh, yeah, that's right. We're going to take this seat right here. We're going to sit at your captain. Am I your captain? Or is Duke the captain? Uh, Who do you think is more in charge? The... You can lay all the way back. Yep. Me? Oh, okay. That's a good Me answer. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been punched in the eye before, Robert? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Was it your sw swashbuckling sister who uh, tried to steal your treasure? Yes. Oh my goodness, you have an evil sister? Yes, I do. I'm she, sister. She's very evil. She is very evil. Oh yeah? She's very evil. <laughs> How evil is she? So I'm gonna go, what? <laughs> 27, 42, 3. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Baker, who did that to you? Oh my goodness, you're too scary. Hold on. What do you, you think, buddy? It. Is that oh. funny? <laughs> the invisible pirate. We have some other options, though, if you don't want to be invisible. After all, we came up with a cool story about your scar. Obviously, we want to show it off, right? <laughs> Let's see. What else can we be? Me. Now, you're not using those anymore, Robert. <laughs> oh, look at that, dude. You look good. <laughs> nice and tight. You're ready, nice and close. Which means I have some more things to give you. Because, you know, as a pirate, you might lose an arm or a leg or an eye. So I'm going to give you an eye patch in case you lose an eye. But don't put it on in case you actually lose an eye. Because if you wear it before you need to, you might need an arm or a leg. And I'm very sorry, Robert, but I just don't have one of those to give you. Oh. And then I think it's time to pierce your ear. I've never actually pierced an ear before, but... There's a first time for everything. I didn't get your ear pierced. That How sounds hard great. Could it be? I think that's good. I think this will be good. Now you might want to close your eyes just in case. I'll close mine too. Don't worry. <laughs> You're not afraid of the blood? I 
<laughs> Lots of blood oh everywhere. One, eighty-six, twenty-five, three. Ah! Oh, wait, there's no blood. <laughs> that could have been a lot worse, Robert. Yeah. I think it is time for you to learn the private oath to sign your life away to the private oath. Oh. Can you put your hand on your chest like this? Okay. Okay. Can you yeah, repeat after me? I, Robert Flashlight. Oh, oh, no. Okay. Robert the dungeon. Pledge to be a true and honest pirate. A true and honest pirate. One who can always be trusted. One who can always be trusted. Not to be trusted. Not to be trusted. To run from any fight. To run from any fight. I cannot win. I cannot win. And to win any fight. And to win any fight. From which I cannot run. From which I cannot run. To plunder treasure. To plunder treasure. With a hearty laugh. Ha ha ha. With a hearty laugh. Do the laugh. Ha ha ha. Oh, it's a really good hearty laugh. And to swab the Disney oh, fantasy death. And to swab the Disney fantasy death. With my mom's toothbrush. With my mom's toothbrush. I'll switch out with you. And to sing. And to sing. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. And, and to discourage, to discourage, discourage from the use of parlay in situations of conflict with the seeking to evoke and only trying to save their own defense anyway, causing pain and suffering for the captain and the destruction for the whole entire crew. It's a piece of parlay that I'm going to go to Oracle Islands and actually almost anyway. Uh, it's your turn, Robert. Go! I can't. Yes, you can. I have faith in you. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> you said Do you at least agree with what I said, though? Yes. Yeah? So can you say yo-ho really loud like a pirate? Yo-ho! Yo-ho! We have a new pirate! Yo-ho! Robert, I'm going to give you your pirate birth certificate. You're going to need this for traveling the seven seas. Because without it, you're going to be stuck on the land. And a pirate on land is just somebody on the beach digging up treasure. Now, I also have one more thing to give you, which is a sword. This is to protect the Red War. But you have to carry it with you. Because it doesn't have legs. It can't follow you. No, it cannot. So now it's time for you to get out of my chair and have a horrible evening. I don't want to see you anymore. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're a pirate. You have to talk like that. So if you were to say thank you, I would say you're not welcome. You know why we need these right? Thank you. You're so, not so, welcome. Or you can say, I do not thank you very much. Yes. I do not thank you very much. And you are not very welcome. <laughs> I hope that your night is horrible and that the fireworks are just horrendous. I agree. I hope it's terrible. <laughs> you ready? Yes. <laughs> it actually works. Yeah, it does. Any minute now. I had to tell him three times how to get over to that balcony right there so I could just take some pictures. There he comes. Woo! All right, you ready? <laughs> nice. I want you to hold out your sword like like you're commanding the whole ship from there. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> pretty it is. It's just I think these like these hallways are just so pretty. Oh, gorgeous. You know what? You can hold it. You like to vlog. I do like to vlog. Just don't drop. What form? He did. Oh, amazing, Lucas. Uh, hey, 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 what do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, uh, uh, what do you think about this Disney cruise so far? Has it been fun? Yeah? What's been your favorite thing? This. Getting the pirate makeover? Yes. You liked it? Yes. So that was a fun surprise? Yeah? Okay, I'm so glad. Hey, can you read this and tell me what your pirate name was? Because that was pretty cool. And it's a mouthful. Robert Blast Striker. Blast Striker? Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Hold that up. Let me see what it looks like. Oh, so what did she say? She and said, to, And to discourage the spurious and frivolous use of parlay in situations of conflict. Uh, you are now funny. officially a pirate. Welcome aboard. That's funny. So that's what she said really fast that no one could repeat because it was like, oh my gosh, what did you just say? All right. Here comes Donald in his pirate get up. Oh, yeah. Oh. Woo! Our Donald! What? That's what I'm gonna name him. Oh, your sword? Red Slasher? The Red Slasher. 
What did you what would you call your ship? Red War. Red War. Oh, alright, you're keeping the red thing going. Wait, is that cause red seven? I'm keeping my rebellion alive. Yeah. Well, what do you what do you call the captain's uh, the captain's second in command? His first mate, right? First mate. Yeah. So Lorelai could be your first mate, right? Yeah. Is that a good idea? Yeah. I agree. And I'll just whisper in his ear. You're gonna whisper to him what? I'm gonna I'm gonna whisper to him. Um, that's right. You tell him he's number one. That's what you should always tell Donald. Because he is. He's number one, huh? He is. Yeah, he really is. Go have some fun, buddy. Go say hi to Donald. <laughs> Wait. What are you supposed to tell him? Always. Yep. Always. Always. Our number one pirate. Perfect one more. Three, Number one, two, that's four. right. <laughs> awesome. So who's over there now? Who are we gonna go see? Who are we gonna go see? Sheep and Dale. Yeah, he's right Apparently, he's like, I'm gonna go. Go have some fun. Have you gone to see Belle with all of your books? And I like haven't. I, like I should show her the other one though, because I have a like not villains book skirt and a you standard do? book skirt. Yeah, it's really cute. Cool. Let me get okay. out of your way. Chippendale with our first pose. With the sword, we're gonna pretend to take our sword out. So Chippendale. <laughs> you guys are so nice, thank you. What's the other one? What's the other, What's the other pose? Oh, <laughs> the pressure chest pose. Yes. You can pretend to hold your sword or maybe hold your vest or something like that to make it look the same. Yes, that looks that was perfect. Aww. Yes. Awesome. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Got stabbed by my own sword. You look better with the eye patch. Yeah. Okay. Well, I look a little better. You look a little better. All right. <laughs> Stitch, apparently. <laughs> All I can see is a paw. I love you, Stitch. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Oh, there we go. Yeah, Are you ready? Hey, hey, two, two, eight. <laughs> I know, you're gonna go up there. I honestly just love, I love smoothie. So I was gonna go up there with that line this long. So I was like, ah, oh, let's, let's say hi to Goofy first. Who's your favorite? I told my kids that I had this. Um, oh, he's talking about Doctor Strange. You see that? Yeah. Um, when I was a kid, I was like seven. And I got really mad because Captain was like, "Can you see me or see me or something?" And I get to to like say hi, hello, get my attention, I want to do a hug, but I was like right next to him. And I finally just looked at him and was like, "I would beat you anyway," and ran off. I was like, "Yeah, I told him." Little seven-year-old, like, ha ha ha. Catch a stitch. Oh, oh there he is. Stitch. Look at Stitch. He's so cute. Stitch. Oh, I don't know how that happened. That's crazy. Ready, Go say hi to Stitch. Say hi, Stitch. What's up? Did you say that? Legal See, voice? he's like, yeah, he's yeah. like, look, you've got an eye patch just like me. Did you have fun? Was that good? And I think out of all the Disney movies, I think Stitch is the best. You think so? But who was your favorite character to interact with? Stitch. Really? See, I think I think Goofy's better because he does so much more and he's so silly. And Chippendale. Chippendale did all those different poses with you that you picked out. 
Wasn't that cool? I didn't really like them that much because they crowded over me. Oh, they were giving you a huge, like, sandwich hug. You didn't like a sandwich hug? How do you not like a sandwich hug from Chippendale? You're so weird. You don't like a sandwich hug from Chippendale? I don't understand that. I mean, I'm a pirate. That's okay, that's true. You're a pirate. Oh, jeez, I don't I get, get it. I wonder, I wonder if Peppa is, Peppa is there. I don't know, but you know what? Actually, let's take a picture of his phone number and we'll call him when we get to the state room. Oh, yeah. The magic is pulling a quick U-turn here. The horns are starting to debate. Hopefully you can hear him. The magic is trying to stay a little quiet. Toying a bathtub, that big ship just did a full U turn and spun about instantly. As the horns go off, you can see the wake. Well, you can see her hands. You can see Aaron's hands because you know they want to be in the way. You see the wake. We are actually doing a 180 and just turning around in a perfect circle. We are on our way down for dinner in Enchanted Garden before fire, Pirate Night festivities. Lorelai, can you say, erg? That's been a theme. Your hat keeps falling down like Milo's, huh? Does Milo's hat always fall down? In Atlantis? Yes! Do you like your hat? Yeah. Okay, we gotta get Lorelai in it too, alright? Okay, what's to being a pirate. To being a pirate. Arr. Arr. To being a pirate. Now what's yours, dude? To pillaging, thundering, drinking the rum, and enjoying the fight. Arr. 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 <laughs> what's your cheers, Lorelai? I'm sorry. We're going to go on the boat. Because we're going to go on the boat. That's right. Yay. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Lucas. Yes. Oh, wow. That was a really bad shot. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Do you like it? Yes or no? But the taste of the crab reminds me of a taste that I've tasted before. Because you've had crab before. Can I do something for you? I don't, I don't like it. Try it. I'm you. The lemon really helps brighten it up. Did you try it with the lemon on it? It doesn't change a lot, but it gives just a little bit. Yeah, it gives it a little bit of zing to it. Yeah. She finally came around so I could put her pirate stuff on her. And Lucas said she could have his earring from Pirate League. Arrgh. Lorelai, can you say yo, ho, ho? No. Lorelai, can you say arr? Say arrgh. Uh, well, she came around for a minute. As we hear, annual meeting of the Brethren Court. Okay.
Is it very real pirate chocolate? I was just telling you, I think this is a Davy Jones with pirate chocolate. Okay. Hey, did you have fun today? Yeah. Are you hot and sweaty from dancing? I'm actually not hot. Oh, did Lucas dance on stage with pirates? Yeah. Was that cool? I actually love those. I, yeah, I love those too. Hey. Hey, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Well, that was a fun adventure. Here, give it to me and I will save it for you. Okay. I will put it with the hoard of chocolate that's literally in this other room. We stayed outside after Mickey's um, pirate show and we watched Muppet Treasure Island and then still had probably about 45 minutes until the show and we were like, you know what? We're just gonna sit up here in the front row and just like let the kids play until the pirate show starts and as we're sitting there waiting, because Lucas was all done up today, one of the cast members came up and said, hey, would you like to be in the pirate show? <laughs> and he was like, uh, are, you, are, are you serious? Like, he didn't really believe it. And so he talked to me, he's like, yeah, you're gonna have an instrument to play. And, you know, you get to go on stage, you meet, get to meet Captain Jack, I'll tell you how to do everything. It'll be, you know, it'll be great, it'll be fun. So last year, we were standing in line um, the second day we were at Universal and Lucas got picked for the Ollivanders experience, which like brought me to like quiet sniffle tears, um, as I recorded it because the previous day he just kept going, I want to go to Ollivanders. I want to go to Ollivanders. I want, and we were we, like, it was so much. We had to be like, dude, stop or we're not going to go at all. Like it was that insistent. It was like, I don't know, every 30 minutes or so for a while. And we were like at our wits end. <laughs> so then the next day when we stood in line and he got picked out of like 20 people, um, we were like, that's really great for him. And I'm sitting there like, cool, this kid got, you know, this wish. So last year he got picked for that. And then this year out of, I don't know how many people that were on the deck and dressed in pirate garb, like everyone is dressed up. Um, he got picked <laughs> to go on stage and play like fake play um, a an accordion and it was just really cute and he was you could tell he was like nervous he just like kept watching me the whole time like we're good we're cool everything's fine but I think he had a really good time and I'm just I'm so excited and then like right at the end they do one song and then the teen club um works on a flash mob so Aaron did a flash mob and it's been a fun it's been a fun day and a fun night and like there's a small part of me that's like, oh golly, we're more than, we're officially more than halfway through the week. This, no, <laughs> like, no, I don't want to. Sitting there watching the fireworks with the kids, it was just, it was great. I mean, obviously cruise fireworks are nothing compared to the parks. I mean, they're also like the only cruise line who can do that because they have all the safety protocols, all of the bits and pieces that break up from the fireworks that drop into the f that drop into um the ocean are actually made of fish food so it's completely sustainable and harmless 
It's been a great night. Duke and Lucas are still upstairs dancing away and I'm going to get Lorelei ready for bed. I hope you guys have had a really good day. I hope that any of you who see this video, God, I hope these showcase the kind of moments you can have with a family. I hope they showcase what you can do as an adult on these trips. I hope it shows you that Disney cruising is not Disney kid animation 24 seven. It's extremely elegant and timeless and classic and just, it's so relaxed. It's so relaxed. The parks are amazing. Going to these parks and going on these attractions, it's incredible, but I can't emphasize enough how stressful going to the parks can be compared to this kind of an experience. This experience is just like, I know that sounds like completely silly. I'm breathing at you. But if you get me, you, you get it. You know that that means like, wow, I just I can let go and I can relax. And Do it because I'm really. Okay. 